Yo, hello, it's Revy here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the shockwave effect you guys saw in the beginning. And if you guys want to support me, I have a website, feel free to check that out. It's called editingvisuals.com. I have some editing packs there that could make your editing much better. Let's get right into this tutorial here. So the first thing you're going to do is to import a clip for uh, this effect. You're basically going to start by rotor brushing out where you want to have the shockwave effect. Rotor brush him out. And if you don't know how to rotor brush, I've made a tutorial on it. So feel free to check that out uh, to learn how to do that. And when you have rotor brushed, it should look something like this here. And we're going to duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D. And then we're going to go to the layer below and delete the rotor brush effect to get the background back. And now to make this shockwave effect here, you're going to make a shape layer. So you're going to right click, new shape layer. And then here, go up to rectangle tool and press Q and press Q again. So you get the ellipse tool here. Here you're going to just hold shift, make a circle here, align it to center it. And yeah, you're going to make the fill to black. And then increase the stroke to 271. Then we're going to make a solid layer. So right click here, new solid layer. So we get a black background here. And then we're going to keyframe the shape of the circle here. So we're going to add transform. And we're going to start off by setting the scale to zero. And then go to the ending and set it to 200. Like this here. So that's how it looks now. And then you're going to mark the solid layer and the shape layer and pre-compose them. Name it shape. And then you can make it invisible. And after that, you're going to add displacement map to your background layer here. And here, you're going to change the displacement map layer to your shape layer. And then you're going to set the max horizontal displacement to minus 100. And then change the max vertical displacement to 100. And after that, you're going to be adding motion tile. And drag this one above the displacement map. Set the output width to 300. And the output height to 300. And press mirror edges. And now you can see the circle here looks very like weird. It doesn't look like a shock wave. So how to fix that is to go back to your shape layer. And here we're going to add gradient blur and we can set the blur to maybe 150 go back to your main composition and here we're going to keyframe the max horizontal displacement and the max vertical dis displacement so you're going to keyframe both of them go to ending set them both to zero and we're going to keyframe the displacement map uh, on max horizontal displacement to minus 15 in the beginning of the clip and max vertical displacement it's going to be 25 in the beginning of the clip and then in the ending it's zero again. So this is basically how you make the shockwave effect here as you guys can see. Looks pretty cl pretty clean in my opinion. And uh, now I have some bonus versions for you guys. You're going to duplicate this shape layer here by pressing Ctrl D. And here you're going to be adding four color gradient. This bonus version is just add four color gradient, choose a color, I chose red here blending mode color and on the layer uh, choose blending mode color there as well and then add invert again change the color to look super clean and if you want to make your clip even cleaner you could add the effect from my tv glitch pack i'm going to add the 10th effect there and you will get this kind of look yeah i think it looks pretty pretty cool pretty pretty clean yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please like and subscribe uh check out my social check out my website uh, join my discord server and i will see you guys soon take care and have a nice day